All right, so I seem to have a small pressure leak in my chill trick system. So every six months or so, I've had to um, top it off and get the pressure back up to the minimum, what, 25, 30 PSI that it's supposed to be it. I think the danger there is freezing up the heat exchanger where the super cold coolant is flowing through to, to cool down the water. You don't want to freeze that. I don't, I don't even think heating is so bad but freezing is really bad because that'll cause things to expand and break. Anyway, so I've got my five gallon bucket here that has my pre-mix in it that I used last time that I filled this up. I've got my Harbor Freight pump here that can provide my, you know, 35, 40 PSI of pressure. So, and then these hoses, um, where I found these was if you go into the garden section of like Walmart, and you look at the hoses for connecting a hose reel up to uh, the faucet on your house, that's what these are. So, got the uh, female female, the female male, and then actually this one, I just bought an end for some hose that I had and lopped it off, which honestly I could have done with this one too, because this is just gonna stick into the bucket. I don't really need a connector on this, but they're short and I can throw these all in my container that is for pressurizing my system and not have to worry about them being used elsewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and pressurize the system. I'll see if I can explain to you guys uh, the process. Obviously it's explained in the manual, but sometimes it's nice to see it in person. So let me pull the saran wrap off of this guy. Mmm, smells like glycol. And let's drop this guy in. And I need to get a little closer here. Drop this guy in. I had a handy rubber band here that I was using to hold things together, hold that top on it. So let me see if I can get these hoses to where they're not gonna pop out on me. So you know what, just doing that might do the trick. This is my toolbox that I've got covering up everything. So this is what you'll see in the diagram from the manual. This is my pressure line. My blue is my pressure. So you've got from the Chiltrix unit through this pump here, and then you've got a three quarter inch line coming off with a ball valve going to an output straight to, um, this output goes to my bucket. And then you've got a ball valve here, a one inch ball valve. And then here you've got a T with a three quarter inch ball valve going to my pump. So this line will be pressurized. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this right because I want to be able to pressurize this side and have everything come out this side and then I'm going to open this up and I'm gonna open this up all right so now I should be able to turn my pump on and I'm gonna be pumping water through into here and out of here and then I'm gonna keep pumping until I get rid of any air bubbles that are in the system and you'll see right here on the back of my chill tricks outdoor unit we've got the pressure gauge so it's showing zero psi right now which is accurate because i just opened up the system so let's get this thing pumping and see what happens now this pump does require priming so we'll see if it's got enough water in it that it can start going quick tip if you want to pump water through something you must open a valve so that it can pump it through so yeah, let's go back inside. I need to open up the ball valves on the AC units. Otherwise it was, it was creating lots of pressure. All right, now I got a couple ball valves open. All right, so we got a couple of indoor units on, which means they should be calling for cooling, which means their ball valve should be open. So let's go back out here and turn it back on. It did seem like the pump self-primed. So if I plug this in, should be good to go. That's better. All right, so we will just let this run for a few minutes and get all the bubbles out. We should be able to see some pressure on the Chiltrix pressure gauge back here. So we've got almost, almost 10 PSI, and that's with an open loop instead of a closed loop. So not bad, it's, it's a good little pump. It hasn't failed me yet. I mean, I've only used it um, probably a dozen times so far but I think it's about 90 bucks at Harbor Freight. I figure it's something that's not gonna get a whole lot of use. If it was something I was gonna have in the system and 
it was going to be running 24-7 or every time the AC was running or the heat was running, I would definitely want a more high quality pump. But uh, for this use case, I think Harbor Freight is a beautiful choice. Well, it seems that we've gotten the bubbles out of the system. So let's go ahead and run through the procedure to close this off. I want to get my power cord for my pump handy. I don't want it to have to back pressure any more than it has to. All right, so what we're gonna do is what I do is I open up this one inch here just a tad because there's, there's bound to be a little bit of air trapped right here, right? And let that run for just a couple seconds more. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to close the empty side and then close this side, open that, shut off the pump. Now what we can do is check our pressure. We should be up at about 40 I think is where it goes to. Oh, we're way up at 50. You guys can see that. We're up at 50 PSI, so I can bleed I can bleed some of that off. I want to get down to probably about 40 PSI. I don't need to be up at 50. So what I'll do is open up this valve here just a tad. Let's check the pressure. All right, now we're down at about 42. I'm good with that. So now we can pack everything up. We're done pressurizing the system. I can undo this guy and this guy. Pull up vertical so I can drain the rest of the coolant from it. All right, I'm gonna toss that in the box. Dump some of this out. All right, so I dumped most of what was in the pump out. And there we have it, one pressurized Tiltrix unit.